Hine ha'adam, behold the man. In our Bibles, we have, of course, in the Gospels, Pontius Pilate saying, Eki homo in Latin, and it's a derision. But we're turning the tables on that, and we're making it a statement of adoration. Behold the man. Behold the man, Jesus of Nazareth. In our last session, we were looking at Luke's Gospel, chapter 9, in which God himself answers the question, who do you say I am? And from this voice from the cloud of glory, the Father speaks and says, this is my son. And that was actually an illusion, a reference, a, a connection, a kesher, a connection to Psalm 2, verse 7, which the rabbi said was a, a text that prophesied something about the Messiah, that he would be the one God would say, you are my son, today I've brought you forth, I've delivered you, I've presented you. And then God says, he's my chosen one. This is a reference to Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 1, behold my servant who's anointed, who's anointed, that's the word Messiah, Mashiach. He's anointed. He's chosen to serve me and to bring good news. And then God says, you must listen to him, i.e., you must obey him. This is a reference to Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 15. Moses says, God's going to raise up a prophet for you like unto me. And you must listen to him. You must obey him. But here's the rest of this story, which will help us begin to see with new eyes and hopefully open hearts, the Jew, Jesus of Nazareth. I want you to go over to Luke 24, same gospel. Luke 24. It's on the road to Emmaus, Motza. Jesus now risen from the dead, although two of his disciples, most likely a husband and wife, did not know that he had been raised from the grave by God. They're despondent as they return to their home. And you know the story. Jesus questions them, almost toys with them in a way. But only at the moment of the breaking of bread. And by the way, this is a powerful passage for our Christian understanding of the Lord's table. It's only at the moment of the breaking of the bread, the reciting of blessings over the bread and over the cup of the, the fruit of the vine, the cup, the blessing of God, that their eyes are opened. We want our eyes to be opened, don't we? Their eyes are opened, and they suddenly see what seemed to be an ordinary man, in fact, is anything but. He's extraordinary. It's the risen Lord, Yeshua. But notice in verse 44 what he says. These are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things which are written about me in the Torah of Moses, in the prophets and the Psalms, must be fulfilled. Do you notice that scripture? Jesus here describes his Bible in its threefold division. Jewish Bibles then and Jewish Bibles today of the Hebrew scriptures have a threefold division. The first is the Torah, the law, the five books of Moses. Second are the prophetic writings called the Nevi'im. A Navi is a prophet. These are the prophetic writings, including Samuel and other things. And then come the third, comes the third section, Ketuvim. Ketuvim, the writings from Katav, to write. And so you have the law, the prophets, and the writings. And the first book of the third section, and by far the largest, is the book of Psalms. And so Jesus here has just enumerated the threefold division of his scripture, Torah, Nevi'im, and Ketuvim. And wouldn't you love to have been in on that teaching seminar? when he showed himself to them from all these scriptures. And by the way, if you take the first letter of this, you develop an acronym, typically written this way, T-A-N-A-K or K-H, Tanakh. That is what Orthodox...